Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDectic. Today I'm gonna make a short video on how and why you should use ng resource over the standard uh, HTTP provider of Angular. And for this I already created a very simple site with Angular and I used the Yeoman plugin or whatever scaffolding tool to set up this app you can check out my blog to see how how to yeah how to use the yeoman or create your own yeoman plugin and however that's not the focus of this tutorial so okay why should you use angular resource first of all you need to install angular resource with boa or npm whatever you like so run boa install angular resource or save it to your boa file and if it's inside and installed you need to make sure you have the, the file included which i have here in my index and if you have this done, you need to add it to your module. So then you've got everything set up to use Angular resource. So let's see why you should use it. First of all, I will use um, a dummy JSON placeholder REST API to show all these things. And you can find the link on my blog or go to jasonplaceholder.typeycode.com and see that there's a very simple API to get some dummy data and I will use this users which is just dot slash users and you will get a response like this with some dummy users and I want to show this users in my view and I've created a little table which will display the name, email and the button and we will come to that later. So if you want to do this on the normal standard old way you would go ahead like this include the HTTP and you would call whatever you or you could no, you can't just do, yeah, just use here's our data by HTTP get and then you can copy that link and well just make that request and now you need to make users data then and chain everything and finally set the uh, users array which we want to use to the data you get from there okay so in my case I can now run grunt surf and I should see yeah some users some data well it's okay for one request but now let's say we want to click info for a specific user then we need to request oh, where is it users slash one okay so and for that you would need another call with more of this promise stuff and set everything and if you would do that for a RESTful API, you would very fast come to infinite calls and chaining and that's just not clean code and it just sucks. So let's see how we can finish this task with ng resource. And for this, I created a tiny service and we will build a user service. and we need to include resource okay 
So now we can very simply return a resource object which has the link or site and we can also additionally already enter this and now we can say if we give user we can set it to or now we we'll make this user okay so that's everything we need inside our factory let's see how we can call this while we previously had this we can now replace it with just scope users equals user service oh, we need to include it obviously user service query and we don't give any parameters to that okay I have auto refresh on so as you can see again the data okay so one line is already much shorter than this okay if you add this it's not very shorter but however as we uh, one note to this um, I use the query because the response we get from the JSON placeholder is an array and if you use query on the resource object you also set a parameter is array to true if you get other data you can just call get at this point but for now we leave this so we wanted to have this button and see some info to this user so in my HTML I made this little button which we'll call a model pop-up and we set data for the user with the ID of that row so if you would use this you would need to copy everything and so on so let's see how we can set our data with our factory we created so say scope one user equals user service get and we will give in user with user ID now the resource will replace this with the ID we give to it and let's see if it's working so okay the info is very empty right now not sure if I'm doing anything with that okay probably I'm just not okay what it's using oh it's using current user sorry my bad so say scope current user and it should refresh and now we see every data to the current user or Patricia Lipsack and we have the data to Patricia Lipsack okay so now you see it's already very powerful because we can use the same service same URL and just replace some parameters now let's say we want to make a post request in that case you could just call user service dot save and let's say we'll give it a name and an email and now that would call a very simple post to this URL currently it's assigned to my add user button and you can see that everything's working if we clean that add user and you see the post receives 200 it's okay and we get a simple response from the JSON placeholder with an automatic generated ID so again we still have just this service and just some other function we call on the resource object 
Okay, now the last one is you can also specify your own functions inside the service. So if you would like to have a special function inside, you can make it this way. Let's say you want an update function, which should make a put request because that one is not standard inside. Okay, so I guess now, nah, okay. One more thing you need to do, you need now to say variable like this and finally return the object. Okay, somehow he's complaining about whatever yeah, we expected anything. Yeah. Whatever. For now it should work, I guess. Or do we miss anything? No. I guess that's no problem. So, how can we call that? Well, we replace this one with user service dot update and we say update user with the id 1 and you place it again with our data from here so now can again refresh oh okay unexpected token in line 12 okay obviously and reload okay so now everything's fine again we can inspect it and make our put request and we see again put 200 okay so we just change the user one with the data to my name and my email and everything was just these and these few lines so I hope you see why you should use ng resource with a, a restful API and well we can make one or two special cases so let's say you want the data which we currently have in oh where is it oh that was the options request okay as you can see currently our data is inside the request payload so inside the body of the request if you want to have it uh, at URL parameters you can just do it like this and give an empty object a second one so let's refresh and try to add another user and now you can see we're making a put request to user one and now we have our parameters here okay and finally if you really 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 need to use the promise object you can use it still in an old-fashioned way if you say query like user service query and now you can do that way and say query dot promise and here is the promise object you would normally have from the HTTP request so in that case if you need to rely on that you can still do it in that way and say function data whatever scope dot users like data and let's see what's happening yeah we still have our things so I hope you see why you should use ng resource I hope that's very clear and I hope this is helpful for you and you can use it in your next project if you're working with a restful API and I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or follow me on Twitter or my YouTube channel and yeah, 
come back to see more videos like this. Have a nice day.